Your Excellency, friends, it's a very great pleasure for me to participate in this event this afternoon in the constituency that I represent in the House of Commons. And I take very, very great store in being involved in an event like this, the celebration of an Eid and also the celebration of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the Qaeda Azam. When I first went to Pakistan, I visited the Qaeda Adam's grave in Karachi and went down to the sepulchre where I was able to see that for myself. And I have a long association with Pakistan and I have a long association with Kashmir. And it's very important indeed that we people here of different ethnic origins, but all British citizens should participate in the life of the country in which we live and at the same time to remember our origins, to honour our origins and to be proud of our origins. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, without him there would be no Pakistan. He, when he lived in Britain, went to the House of Commons, to the Houses of Parliament, and from the gallery he saw the way in which a democratic parliament functions. And he brought that to Pakistan. And he made Pakistan a parliamentary democracy. And there are still too few parliamentary democracies in the world and in the developing world as well. And parliamentary democracy in Pakistan has had its challenges. And Pakistan parliamentary democracy is having its challenges in Pakistan now. But it is strong. And because it is strong, it will survive. And what Muhammad Ali Jinnah gave will survive in Pakistan. And that's very, very important indeed when we see what happens in China or what happens uh, in, in, uh, in Syria or what happens in other countries of the world, Myanmar, Burma, others. The strength of democracy in Pakistan is not only important for the people who live there with freedom of speech and a very, very free press, which is one of the most important things in a, a free democracy. And as has been pointed out by Mr. Anwar, while we celebrate Muhammad Ali Jinnah and while we celebrate the strength of democracy, in Pakistan, let us remember the people living in Jammu and Kashmir and the fact that they do not have those rights universally recognized. And we must do whatever we can. Yeah. And we are active in Parliament on this. We have a Kashmir group in Parliament and which will be meeting for its annual meeting very shortly. And we fight for democracy in Kashmir and above all the right of the people of Jammu and Kashmir to have the voice in their own future which the United Nations resolutions guaranteed. And that has to be done. And at the same time, let us think of the people in Palestine, persecuted by an oppressive government, persecuted in Gaza and persecuted in the West Bank. On the West Bank this very week, Israeli soldiers have murdered four unarmed Palestinians, including a 17-year-old boy. And we must think about the people of Palestine, Pakistan and press and press and press until they have the same right to self-government and the same democracy 
is the people of Pakistan. Mr. Anwar raised two issues, and those are very important issues indeed. With regard to immigration, I have to tell you that I have been in Parliament for 43 years, and at no time in my 43 years have I known a more harsh and oppressive immigration policy than is imposed by this present government. And I have huge numbers of cases, more than any other member of Parliament, and I fight the whole time. The Home Office has now dedicated an official solely to my cases, but it is very important indeed the point that Mr. Anwar made. Dragging people down to Croydon is unnecessary and is oppressive. There are offices of the border agency here. There's an office of the border agency in Salford. There's an office of the border agency in Liverpool. And I have pressed and will continue to press that where people need personal interviews, they should have those personal interviews here in the north, in the northwest, and not have to go with all the inconvenience and the expense and the, uh, and the suspense of going down to Croydon. So that is a very important issue and it's one on which I am active. With regard to the right of abode, this whole situation, as Mr. Anwar said, began with what was a mistaken decision by Muhammad Ali Bhutto, a great man with a very great daughter. It, uh, but it was uh, that decision of Muhammad Ali Bhutto to withdraw from the Commonwealth caused a great many complications. And we had legislation in Parliament at that time to, uh, to deal with the withdrawal from the Commonwealth of Pakistan. And I was on the committee that dealt with that legislation. And it was because of my pressure that in a situation where everybody in Britain, uh, Britain with a Pakistani passport was turned overnight into a foreigner, I made sure with very great pressure that at least at that time they could have dual nationality. And we got that in the 1981 Act. But as Mr. Anwar points out, problems, very serious problems, arose and still persist with regard to the right to abode. And I have uh, discussed this with your marvellous Consul General, and he is a marvellous Consul General, and he represents you well, and he represents you well to the British government as well. I... And I've discussed that with him, and we're going to have a further discussion, and then I will take that up with the Foreign Secretary and see if we can get an alleviation of the situation Best would be a total change, but we will see what we can do, but we will do it. As my constituents here will know, I never promise a result. I never promise what I cannot guarantee. But I do promise that your Consul General and I will try as hard as we can in order to try to get this situation transformed. And it's very good that here in Britain, in Manchester, ethnically and religiously diverse Manchester, in which people of Pakistani origin and heritage make a huge contribution, in this constituency we have several councillors who are of Pakistani heritage. It's very right that we celebrate the dual merging of, on the one hand, origin, heritage, ethnicity, religion, and on the other hand, being British. And those two go together and they are inextricable. And we will go on championing them. 
I cannot tell you how proud I am to represent this diverse constituency. And my relationship with the community of Pakistani heritage is very close indeed. And inshallah, it will remain close. And inshallah, we will all go on to celebrate many more Jinnah days. Thank you.